All right, welcome to another MrCross.org training tutorial. We're going to continue in Microsoft Excel. And what we're going to do today is we've already created charts. We're going to learn how to copy those charts and then paste them in Word. And there's actually two different options for doing that. When we cut and paste a chart, we can, we can paste it as a picture or we can paste it as a linked chart and linked Excel file. And you'll see the difference as we kind of go through this. So first of all, I'm going to take my chart and I'm going to control C or copy it and then I'm going to go to my document that I have and I have this letter that I've created and this letter is going to have a chart in it so I'm going to hit control V and you're going to see now that I actually have a sales chart right now however this sales chart is actually a picture and when you paste something you have a, uh, a an option to paste as a picture of a chart or you can do the entire Excel workbook or you can link this chart to the Excel chart um, on the Excel document. If I keep it as a picture, so I, I hit a button or something and now it's a picture, all of the options that I would have if it was a picture are there. We can, we can format it, we can do move it, we can do all the things that you would do with a picture. But if I go back to this Excel document and let's say this data changed and this guy had a really good month, a lot better than we thought at first, then when I click it, you'll see here that the um, the, the chart here changed, but when I go back to the Word document, it has not changed. Well, that's not what I want, and I also don't want things popping up at me. Um, what I would like to do is have this chart update when this chart updates. So we're going to do that by, let's first get rid of this chart. Let's go back here, and let's do another copy. So we're going to control C, and we're going to copy it. We're going to go back to our Word document. We're going to control V for paste, and instead of doing a picture let's link it to the Excel chart once we've done that now let's go back to our Excel chart let's go ahead and change the numbers it turns out he didn't do as well as we thought and the chart you'll see has changed now let's go back to the Word document oh and our Word chart has changed one more time to test it let's go ahead and give him some really good figures oh that's really good and let's go back here and you can see that it changes so now the two are linked and this is actually a, a nice way of keeping um, your your charts on a document that maybe is going to be formatted for uh, maybe sales figures or something like that and when the sales figures change even though you might print out the same document to hand out at a meeting you want the figures to be updated and it, and it makes it nice because I'm not having to type all this information in it's very very handy so I hope that helped you out make sure to visit uh, mrcross.org for some more training videos and have a good day